No kind speech, soft speech. You know, don't speak too much, otherwise people won't value it. Don't be sort of no motor mouth. No, because if you motor mouth, then people never actually listen to what you're saying. Because here they go again, wah 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 wah. So it's wonderful to be silent a lot, and to speak when it's necessary. As one wise person once said, if you can't improve upon the silence, then don't speak. What a wonderful saying that is. If you can't improve upon the silence, then be quiet. So when we learn these skillful speech, it actually goes back in the way we think. Because when we don't speak angry thoughts or critical thoughts of others, but kind thoughts, when we actually speak gently, we find, to our surprise, that becomes also the way we think as well. We are kind thinkers and we are gentle thinkers because these two actually condition each other. The, th the thoughts, which is the inner speech and the outer speech. So the more you actually put restraint on the way you speak to each other and you deliberately say, so I'm going to speak kindly and gently and frugally, you actually do find that you are thinking kindly and frugally because that inner speech is actually you're talking but to yourself now. And the way you talk to others is the way you talk to yourself. And if you learn how to restrain your, your speech to others, so you're kind and gentle, you find you think kindly and gently to yourself. And that is one of the main points of my talk tonight. By learning how to speak to others, you're learning how to have a beautiful attitude towards yourself. In the quiet moments, or when you're supposed to be quiet, in other words, there's no one around you. The way you think, the way you look at yourself, the way you speak to yourself, becomes this beautiful, skillful encouragement rather than always putting yourself down, always finding fault with yourself and shouting yourself and being aggressive and violent to yourself with your thoughts. And of course, that's what the cause of depression, lack of self-esteem, the inner negativity, that stress of not liking yourself. The accumulation of a lifetime or many years of negative thoughts to yourself simply because that's the way you've been conditioned to speak. It goes back to you in the end. That's almost like the Buddhist law of karma. What you say to other people, you get back because that's the way you speak to yourself. So if you're very, very negative to others and always forcing them and scolding them and picking fault with them, that's how you look at yourself. You'll always be scolding yourself, picking fault with yourself, never being kind and forgiving to yourself. You know what it's like when you're like that. You have no peace, no happiness, no joy, but worse, no encouragement in life. You know, by speaking kindly and gently to others, you're actually encouraging them to the proper goals, you know, of success, solving the problems, harmony, whatever else you want to achieve in life. And by having that same inner speech towards yourself, those are the goals you're going to reach. You're going to be more peaceful, more happy, even more successful in your own inner life, in your spiritual life. So as we speak to others, so we think to ourselves. And that becomes so, so important when you meditate, because when you meditate, you have an attitude towards your meditation. And if you spend your whole life scolding other people, when you start meditating, you scold yourself. I'm not good enough, I can't meditate, I can't get still. See how you're scolding those. Or you're, you're too aggressive. You know, come on, you know, wife, come on, husband, so get your act together. You know, let's get some in life. You have that same attitude towards yourself. When you have that kind, gentle speech towards others, then you have that kind, gentle attitude towards yourself. You're encouraging yourself. And just as in our learned in educational psychology, that gets the most out of the students. You love to learn, you get encouragement to be successful, you learn much quicker, you enjoy your time at school and you want to go to school. In the same way that when you are encouraging yourself that way, when you're kind to yourself and praise yourself when things go well, forgive yourself when you make mistakes, people love to meditate that way. <laughs>